In economics, we confront situations where we have exponential and logarithmic functions that we need to differentiate in order to find the marginal functions. So for that reason, we are required to learn the rules of differentiation of the exponential and logarithmic functions. So let's start with the exponential functions. And this is the standard form of it. As you can see, a function is there in the exponent. Whenever we are to differentiate it, the rule is very simple. We just need to note this function and we need to calculate its derivative. Once we have calculated its derivative, we have all what we need to find the derivative of this exponential function. Just to remind that this is a natural exponential function that we are talking about in this case. And here what we will do is we will write the derivative and then we will multiply it with the overall given exponential function and that is it we, the, we have done the uh, you know process of solving the derivative of a natural exponential function a numerical example is here in which we have uh, y is equal to exponent of uh, rx rx is actually the function that is fx and we want to calculate the derivative of the exponent and this will be r as r into d over dx of x will be equal to r so we have noted f bar x as well as we have f of x so we can easily deploy the rule the rule suggests that we need to write the derivative that we have written here and write the function in its original form that we have written on this underline so overline and underline is guiding us about the substitution and then we finally multiply the two terms and we get the derivative of the natural exponential function which is this one in addition to natural logarithmic uh, natural exponential functions we have natural logarithmic functions as well so we should also try to learn those in their differentiation how we do it natural uh, logarithmic functions uh, how we differentiate them for instance if we have a function which is natural log of f of x here a stipulation is there that f of x should not be less than zero this means that we are taking the log of a positive value and you know log of positive value is something meaningful and then we have dy over dx the derivative uh, this is the function and the simple procedure is that I need to calculate the derivative of the function that is being uh, you know put in the natural log and then I have to calculate its derivative and these are the two values that I need to know because we need to simply calculate the ratio of the derivative and the original function and that will be the derivative of the natural log of the function so this is what we have done divided the derivative of the function with its original function or the primitive you know that we call it primitive or original function and this is definitely the derivative so this is an example in which natural log of ax to be is calculated this is the function and this is the derivative of it so we take the derivative of the two um, that is f bar x and we place the original deriv uh, function in the denominator and simple cancellation will give us the answer of the um, natural logarithm of the given function which is 1 over x so in this way we can do the differentiation of functions that are natural logarithmic in nature as well as natural exponential thank you